Let me go, if I can, to another issue, and this is, uh, and you may be, be able to respond to this, but it's regarding the Indian Law and Order Commission report that just came out. You know, it's a pretty significant report. It's a roadmap for making Native Americans safer. It's, it's thick in actually Alaska because of how bad it is. We have a whole chapter, which is somewhat amazing when you think about it. I mean, uh, for how much trouble uh, and how much time people take to put one of these reports together then to see Alaska, a whole chapter in there. Uh, I know I, I have a letter going to the, the chairwoman, I think goes out today asking for a special hearing in regards to this report, because I think this is very telling of what we should be doing. And part of the issue of putting land and trust on a national level is to get more resources to tribes to solve some of their problems in Alaska, a little more unique situation. But I wanted to just pick your brain while you're here. I caught you in the hall last time. I didn't have enough time on another issue, but I want to pick your brain on this one in regards to this report. You know, as you know, I have a piece of legislation at Safe Families and Village Act, which is focused on uh, allowing tribes in Alaska a little more jurisdiction because VAWA missed Alaska tribes. That's also why I'm being very careful about carcieri because I want to make sure that we don't have something later we have to fix. And in the VAWA, we missed Alaska tribes, and we have to fix that. Can you give me any thoughts that you might have, especially, I don't know how much you have had time to look at this report, but it's pretty significant. And like I said, Alaska has a whole chapter dedicated. You actually, in a report like this, don't necessarily want a chapter dedicated to you, unless it's saying all these great things, and this is not necessarily what this talks about. It talks about our uh, lack of justice, or lack, lack of public safety efforts and many other things. Do you have any comments on what we could be doing or just some thoughts? Well, we figure do. while you're here, I figure I'd take advantage of the moment. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we do look forward to um, a hearing on, on that subject. We are digesting the report. There is a lot in that report. It's quite extensive and certainly it's extensive on Alaska. We have heard from a lot of Alaska tribes about uh, the inadequacy of village public safety officers. They work really hard, but that we don't give them the tools that they need. That's right. Um, serious problems, obviously, with crime control in rural villages, and um, and um, we you know we are looking at that. And so we are grateful that you're providing it more attention, and we do think it deserves more attention. So we are digesting it, and we would love to talk more about it if the chairwoman decides to hold a hearing on the subject. Fantastic, I'll, Madam Chair. I'm going to send you um, a letter, I've drafted it today, and it's just asking to, us to consider that because I think it's an, it's an important report, a lot of good work. Uh, I know for just Alaska's perspective, I think you guys, or the, the folks came up four different times and uh, a lot of good in-depth report. And it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not polished up, it's here it is. Here's what needs to be done, or here's the problems that we see, which I think is telling for us, especially in Indian country, not only nationwide, but for my state in Alaska. So I'll look forward to having the conversation with you. I'll look forward to uh, working with the chairwoman in regards to uh, potentially having some discussion on this in a much broader perspective. Thank you, Senator. Thank you very much.